Hey, my friend, what a one, what a one, what a one. So, today I'm just come on. If you're going to want little story time, guys, nobody get tired and fed up on my story time. Them, it's soothing for me, and I just like to talk to you guys to let you know more about me. If you're all interested to know, so you don't get tired and fed up. Nobody go say every minute this woman here come with one story time. Well, this one, guys, is rather interesting. So, this one I gonna be about my childhood when I was from about age three to about 10, growing up in the country with my grandma and my cousins. So guys, if you never yet subscribe, you know, come over and join my family now. Me not really know one I wait for, you know? Because me I try to come the little content them. Even if me not have nothing exciting to tell you, I still try to come on and talk to you guys. Guys, to show you all how much me appreciate you know. So, this is from when me used to live with my grandmother. Me live with my grandmother for me at three year old, guys. I was with like maybe six other cousins or probably more. But it was a lot of us growing up with my grandmother. This was in the countryside, in, in a place in Jamaica called Hanover. If you are from Jamaica, you must hear about Hanover already. It depends on the far end of the one nether side of the country. Anyway, guys, we grew up with my cousin them, and we had a few friends that was living close by us. So guys, we just want to show you how our life was back then and then thinking back and looking back at our kids now. We used to have a very difficult life, guys. Difficult, but strangely exciting. So I'm gonna tell you now a little bit of how we grew up. All right. When we used to live in a Jamaica as kids, the yard that we live in, guys, we did not have running water. So therefore, we had some things that we call drums. So guys, because we never had running water, we always have to, all of us, me and my cousins, we had to like make trips, couple trips a day guys, to go to where we had the water, what we call the pipe. We had to walk far guys, maybe like a mile or so to go catch water. I mean, line up in a line with other people waiting for their containers to be filled. And we used to catch the water, guys. And then we lift the water and put it on top of our head. And we walk back to the house, all of us, me and my cousin, them, our friends, them. We walk back and we make a couple trips, guys, for the day. Because we have to fill the drum with water. Because if rain don't fall, we don't have running water. So we have to, we not have water for cook or shower or do anything like that. So we always have to make trip back and forth, guys. But full with pan, put it on with head, walk home, throw that out, come back. But it was fun for us, you know, guys. Fun in a strange way. Then, after we full the drum, we would have specific days that it's wash day, guys. So if a grandmother would know an adult person that's going to the river, which the river is even further, guys, than walking to fill up the containers. The river was probably two miles. And we would walk. We would pack up our dirty clothes, all of us. As long as the grandma knows somebody that's adult and she trusts them, <clears throat> she would pack up with stuff, make her pack with clothes and give her laundry detergent and say, I'm going to go out the river with such and such a person and go wash out on the clothes. That's why we are little pit. That's why we are little pit, you know, guys. So that's how we learn to actually do stuff. I would have gone the river with whoever our grandma sent we with. And after we done wash the clothes, guys, we do look on them. Then we would have spread out with stuff on the rock at the river for dry. And then, guys, after that, all of us we we'll just take a shower in the big wide river. We soap up. We never have no shame in our game, guys. We just, everybody have them soap and we soap up our body. Everybody stand up and uh, 
conversate with each other and I take with shower. When we're done with that, guys, while we are waiting for we close them for wash, guess what we do? We go so we are gonna catch some something name. We used to call them crayfish. Here they call them crawfish. Or right, them have other names for them, but we don't really remember. But we used to go catch a little crayfish them. And then one of the adult them now cook them. Pan the river, guys. Pan the, like pan a rock. Just light up fire and cook the cook the we call them shrimp, but I don't really shrimp, a crayfish. Them cook them up, guys, with pepper, salt, and we sit down and we eat. And then guys, we we all that we know when we done that, remember say we shower already and we close them dry now on the rock and we pack up, we close them and we walk back probably two miles again for walk back to which part we all live. We are with my cousin them and we friend them. But guys, it was such an exciting time. So, so exciting. It was rough, but we enjoyed it. When we would go home now, guys, then we will pack out, we close them, put we close them in the designated area where we will go. And with grandmother now, it's dinner time. So, guys, if we not even have meat, trust me, she and me could go, we better eat something. Even if she have to make some soup, soup without meat, soup with some peas and yam and dumpling, she light up our little fire outside, wood fire, guys. We never reach, like me say. We're poor as poor can be, but happy, 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 guys. I would never trade my childhood days. When I look back and remember what we went through as kids, guys, it was fun. And with grandma, I would make sure say she cook with dinner, make with nice soup. She used to love make soup. And even if the soup not have meat, guys, you can't eat the soup and no say no meat, neither no, that the soup there, or the soup nice. And she makes sure full with belly. And when we done eat, we put together, everybody wash up the little plate them. And by this now, guys, it come down in a night now. We are all our friends there meet up. We are all of them, we go to the river. Everybody come and then find our yard, guys, and we sit across the street. And all of us sit down there in the dark, guys, and we are taught dopey story. Everybody are tell dopey story. All who know dopey story, I tell dopey story. The time it dark, 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 dark outside, you know, guys. But we did just happy. All of we just happy as cousins and friends. And everybody out there, we tell story. We will play skipping. Everybody has skip. Everybody has, has do some kind of activity, guys. And when we're done, it's so dark outside. Everybody has try run at them also after the dopey story. And everybody believe the dopey story now, guys, but not no go like what they must say. They think they just uh, try to scare everybody. But guys, we enjoy that kind of a life. We enjoy it. Enjoy it. We were poor, but happy. Poor, but happy, guys. What I'm, the concept I'm getting to right now, guys. These kids nowadays, I don't think they could go to not even a quarter of what we got through when we are like a pitney. Them a pitney, them have everything made for them. Them have washing machine, we wash them clothes. We not used to that. We have to learn to wash with our little hand them and we better enjoy that too. And we better wash them clean. If we not wash them clean, we grandmother make we wash them back over. So we have to make sure so we scrub them clean. Them your kids are guys, they so blessed and privileged that's a lot of them then don't like accept life for what it is a lot of them we as parents we do so much for them and them act like we do nothing for them not knowing what we went through as kids guys at least then come them have them parents go by then go to come for them they have them clothes wash, or even if they clothes not wash the washing machine right in the house, they suffer them. At least them sure of food. We, we guys, we hardly did ever have good food to eat. But like me say, if I even some soup without meat, my grandmother make it give it. If I even dumpling and butter, we are going better eat it, guys. Them a picnic, 
me even talk for especially in my house guys the amount of food where my children them waste a week time it's ridiculous when i cook the dinner i only cook once a week guys on a sunday and when i cook on a sunday i make about three different meals where everybody can have different stuff to eat them not forget tired of the one thing everything stored in the refrigerator all them have to do are going and warm up guys not even that my children no want to my children them is so spoiled once they eat sunday dinner out of that food guys them don't want it again they don't want it again they want fast food they want pizza they want chinese food they want mcdonald's and the food in the fridge guys what we try to teach them when we learn to accept what we have there's a lot of people in this world who are die of hunger and who know have the food that we sit when i was a kid i would have wished all away me and my cousin them our friend them would have wished we have even a third of this food we are throw away okay sometimes a lot of kids didn't even have it to eat even the simplest thing for them to eat them parents still couldn't find it and them are picking here guys then don't know how blessed them is and still yet then don't appreciate it or what they have so guys we just are showing the difference of then and now some of us now have no books to go to school with we may get probably a reading book and the dictionary but all of the other textbook them where we're supposed to get half of us what parents or grandparents couldn't afford it these kids have everything and some of them still no want to go to school and still no want to do good guys so we try to tell my kids them some of them stuff here when we go through and them say oh mommy it made me sad actually i was a sad when all this was happening as hard as it sound i was excited and happy to do these things because for us i thought that was normal that was the norm for us to do so we never find it nowhere. Some days, guys, we can remember my grandmother, then used to have like yam fields where them plant yam and sell, they reap yam and sell yam. And some days, guys, when we go to school, all of us, we have to, my grandmother said, we're go grown with me today. And we have to go there with them guys. And it, it far forget there. And you have to walk far, 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 guys. We can't even, Tell you how much miles now because I mean, I really want to tell something when I go like that. But it was a really far walk and the sun was hot. And we used to have to go and grow with them guys and them go dig yam, dig up the yam, them and we have to help clean off the yam, them so they can get the yam, them to sell them. Sometimes, again, guys, we have to go and mango bush. I mean. That was hard work, but still exciting. Cause we used to get with own container guys and we're going at the, the mango walk where all these mango trees, different, different kind of mangoes and everybody had tried pick them mango and fill up them container and we are carry pan we head. Everything we carry pan we head guys. Everything we carry pan we head. And that was fun for us. Fun, 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 fun. We enjoy that type of a life because guess what? It made me the woman I am today. It molded me. It lead me in the right way. It made me learn to appreciate what I have now, guys, because we can't tell you no. We never come from no, no, no good life. We not used to nothing growing up. We not shame for tell you no. That's why right now, I love nice stuff. I love fancy stuff. I love to dress up. I love to fix up my house. I, I love to fix up my kids because guys may never get them privilege there when me I go. So guys, I thank you all so much for watching my video. I would appreciate it if some of you all would leave me some comments in my comment section with ideas of videos you like to see from me if you all want a q a just leave your request guys send the, the questions that you would like to ask me and i would answer them to the best of my ability so guys as always i love you all 
Be blessed.